opens so beautifully now. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah, you saved the day, Ruby. I did how? Ouch. Because oh. I was like, man, this binding system I'm using is not working with the bulky page. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. Hi, Barbara. Oh, We're the only person here right now. We just have only Barbara. Oh, hang on. We're here. Okay. I am just fixing to make myself some room. Okay. So, hi, Cynthia. Now, Hi, Heidi. Hi, Irma. So today we're going to make bath bombs with a twist. And the ones I'm going to show you are going to be for my grandkids. Now, one thing, this you can use one particular oil in here. Unfortunately, I cannot use it because it's a nut-based oil. And my granddaughter is absolutely highly allergic to any kind of nut. So I cannot use anything that has a nut base in it. So you want to stay away from she butter and almond oil because those two oils uh, contain nuts. And she butter is a nut. If anybody didn't know that, it's a nut. And it's dangerous for kids or <coughs> sorry, adults that have allergies to nuts. So I got substitutes. Well, these are not substitutes. You can use them in soaps. You can use them in bath, bombs, whatever. There is hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of recipes online for bath bombs. I found one that I like. And there's one that takes more ingredients. And there's some that take less ingredients. The less ingredients ones, I'm not sure how great those work. The more ingredients ones are the ones that float and work the best. So I found this one, and I'm going to copy and paste this in the description below and also put it in my Facebook group if anybody wants to make this particular bath bomb. So let me show you some of the ingredients. I went shopping on Amazon because I needed some bath bomb stuff. And silicone, silicone trays are your best bet for this, or plastic Christmas bottles. So this silicone tray is all snowflakes. Oh, isn't that cute? Yes. So I'm gonna make a nice, a nice size uh, bath bomb. So I will be making the kids these ones today, and I'm also gonna make my other daughter some bath bombs and the uh, and their mom, kids' mom, and my other daughter out of these trays that are meant to be for soap, but I think these are absolutely perfect for, um, look awesome. And you know what, Ruby? Going to make pretty bath bombs. What? The snow, the snow soap, the soap molds, you can pour the, uh, liquid acetate or liquid polymer stuff I always use. And you can make medallions for crafting. Oh, I could even make resin with these. I mean, resin. That's what I mean. Resin. Shit. I yes. yes. Ooh, brain fart. So I do have another mold coming. It's absolutely beautiful, but it's coming from China, and I don't have it yet, so I can't use it today. Now, I got mica powders. This is called soapy mica, but it's also good for uh, bath bombs. As you can see, it gives you the recipe in here for bath bombs. But I'm making, I'm not using their recipe. I'm using the one that I found online. And I don't know where I found it, but I found it. Now, I did buy some premium natural sweet almond oil. The only thing that really pissed me off about this, because uh, almond oil and shea butter go together so beautifully. However, I wasn't going to use the almond oil in my grandkids or my other daughter, the one with the the with the grandkids, my nurse daughter. She's not allergic to anything nutty. 
this stuff has no smell. I was so pissed off. I was like, what is the purpose of this? Just for moisturizer? Uh, uh, exactly. That's all this is good for. It's very good for the skin, the hair, the nails. That's all it's good for is, is an oil. Um, but you have no smell to it. So I was really peed off about that. So I'm not going to be using that today. Um, I got me some citric acid. So this is citric acid powder. I have a big bag of it from my bulk store because this was way too expensive. I don't even think this is two cups. And I need a whole cup for one batch. So that's a ripoff. Um, <laughs> this is so cool. And I'll show you why. Got these from Amazon. They are uh, heat, heat bags. And they come with these bath bomb holders. These are for bath bombs to hold them. And these bags are for bath bombs. So when you're finished making your bath bomb, you put it in one of these bags. I'll show you how it works. Excited. Yeah, it is exciting. So you get this whole thing. And I think there's 100 bags here, to be honest. That's a lot of bags. That's going to make a lot of bath bombs. But anyway, you would take this bag and you would put your pretend bath bomb in it. So let's pretend that's my bath bomb. Anyway. Ooh, goodness, can't really do it, girl. And then you would just heat it up and it would stick. It just kind of. Not the deal. Turn it into like you you bought it from the store. Heck yeah. You could shrink the plastic all around your bath bomb. See how cool? My yep. God. I didn't do such a good job. But that's that's these these are for bath bombs. So I thought that was pretty cool. Now, most importantly is your fragrance oils. And I got these from Amazon as well. And it comes with seven oils and in the kids today i am going to be using the cotton candy and there is another one in here that that they'll love and it is called cupcake so i'm going to be using those two oils this one here is honeysuckle oh my uh, favorite jasmine rose uh vanilla and Strawberry. I might even use strawberry and vanilla. Strawberry and vanilla. Honey yes. Yeah. So we'll just put these off to the side. So these are these come in uh, seven fragrance oils, premium fragrance oils, so you can use them for anything. And last but not least, I bought these. These are called vendor things where you put a little surprise inside of this and then you would close it up so like i have here is a little charm i'm going to stick the charm inside i'm going to close it and it's airtight it's waterproof and everything and this is going to go tucked inside of their their uh, bath bomb and when it when it uh explodes or fizzes not explode <laughs> Uh, well, when it fizzes, my granddaughter, she's getting, um, this is a ladybug. I'm going to give her a ladybug. Oh, and that's going to go in there and then I'll do a couple of more. So I got one for Seth and I'm going to give him a dragon's eye, which is so cute. He loves <laughs> dragons. And you would just stick them in here as a little surprise. Actually, you can put quite a bit of stuff in here. Okay, so in Maya, I'm going to give her this pretty little gold snowflake. So we'll just stick that in there and we'll put a cap on it. Now, what else I want to put in these is this. Let me move this box. It's a little treat for them while they're bathing. Some bubble tape. So bubble tape. Bu 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 bubble tape. I don't know how to use this. So okay, you open it. Okay, uh, you. Uh, I know how to use this because Michaela loved it. Okay, 
open oh, it. Oh, I see. Pull it out like tight. Okay, so I'm going to break off a piece yeah. of the pink one. And I'm just going to roll it up. Hopefully, it'll fit inside of the thing. And I have these little zippy lock bags. Not zippy lock, but these can be airtight little bags. And I'm going to stick the bubble gum in there. I would snip off the white part. I'm going to because that's going to be way too thick. Oh, yeah. These are so cute, Ruby. This is a perfect Christmas idea. Mm -hmm. Because you can do a lot of these and mm -hmm. give them out to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. This is in my mouth. Oh, <laughs> oh, I was like, what's going on? Okay. So, and and see, you can put, hell, you can wrap up a dollar up in there. Yes, you, you could put money in here, and that's my intention to make, because I'm going to make them lots, because they love bath bombs. So, we're going to make lots. So, make sure that you put the airtight seal on it, and it's sealed in there. And when they... um. You get these from Amazon. I got a pack of 40, and I don't remember how much they were, but they're not expensive. So there's a pink one. And we'll, hey, do, we'll do a blue one for Seth because it has blue flavor, I guess. I don't know if they're all the same or what. But, oh, yep, yeah, this one is blue. So we'll just break off a piece for Seth. Ooh, it smells good. This gum it smells good enough to eat. And we'll just roll this up and put it in a zippy lock bag. Turn this piece off. Seal it up nice and tight. And then just roll it, put it inside here, and put a cap on it. And it's good and tight. There. Hi. So we've got these. Actually, what I'm going to do is one of these, I'm going to put two charms in each of their things. So this one is Maya's. I'm going to give her an elephant. And Seth is going to get a dragon's eye and a little gold piece side. That. So that's going to be inside their bath bomb. And you can put actually anything in there, but I have to be careful what I put in because of my granddaughter being allergic to so much stuff. Hey, you know, you saying that, don't ever let her eat at McDonald's. Well, um, we, she does eat at McDonald's. Her mom takes her there. Uh, there's well, just certain things she can have. They fry all of their stuff in peanut oil. Yes, I know. Oh, okay. I was going to say. Mm. Okay, so I went to my bulk store because I can't use almond butter. So what I bought is some palm oil and coconut oil. And this is the virgin. Mm, my God, it smells so good. This is coconut oil. This is palm. 100% pure. Oh, even that smells divine. So, of course, I got to melt these. And that's what these little containers are for is I'm going to melt them because you need four cups of light oils. And that would be you could use almond oil, she butter, whatever it is. I don't have she butter. I don't want to use. I don't. None of my health food stores had she butter or I would have bought she butter to use for my daughter. But these here I'm going to put in these little containers and then I'm going to microwave them and. I'm going to get four tablespoons of each. No, four tablespoons and spoons in total. So I'm just going to heat these up a little bit. Coconut oil, ladies, is great for your skin, your hair. You, you can eat it. You can add it to foods. And oh, help. yeah. This is a cooking. This is, you can cook. Virgin cooked. It's yeah. You, and you can take that same virgin cook ver that one and mix it and put it in your hair when you're in the shower. Uh, coconut oil melts like super fast in your hands because of the it's amazing how quick it melts. Yeah, this will solidify very quickly with a little bit of heat. And the palm oil is very soft. 
Uh -huh. And this is stuff that's all in your, in all kinds of lotions. Um, it's in hair shampoos. It's in body washes. These types of products you will find. I don't know how natural and how much, how virgin they are or how original they are. But palm oil is 100% vegetarian, pure natural palm cooking oil. So you can use uh, olive oil too. As, as well, if you wanted some other kind of um, vitamin E, I think is in olive oil, I'm not sure, but it also softens the skin. But cocoa, coconut, um, I put a little bit of the coconut on my hands and it my hands just felt like silk and that's no word of a lie. No, it's amazing. I use it on my yeah. cuticles. I even give it to my cats when they have hairballs. So <laughs> I give it a little bit to my cats and it fixes them right up. Okay, so we've got these little surprise gifts. Like I said, you can put many other things uh, in these things. You can buy the bigger ones, but the bigger you go, uh, it's going to be kind of hard to fit them inside of these cups. So, you know, you want it to be hidden inside of the bomb itself. So you're going to put a little down there and then you're going to tuck this inside and cover it. So when the bath bomb releases, this will be floating on top. And my daughter said, and I know I've seen them come back with these big, huge bath bombs for their, um, for their, for their kids. And they went through these like there was no tomorrow. Oh, they can go upwards of like $15 a piece, depending on where. Right. Okay, so let's get started here. Um, now, we need, I'm also got to go get a wet um, a thing for my wet stuff, like my oils and stuff. So, All right, this calls for two cups of baking soda. So let's get two cups of baking soda, get going with that. And I believe this is, nope, that's the sea salt. This is pure sea salt, 100% fine pure sea salt. And this one is baking soda. So for now, I'm going to put the sea salt down and let's dig out. We need two cups. So I'm just going to use four one-half cups. And I hate baking soda. I hate the smell of it. But, hey, what can I say? you got to use it. <laughs> so we need four of those. And this is super cheap at the bulk store. <laughs> Don't breathe it in, girlfriend. Oh, I did the other day. I'm going to put one for the road. <laughs> <sighs> Powder. This stuff is super bad for your lungs. Just saying. It will dry you out. And it did that to me the other day. I think that. <sighs> oh, I can taste it. That's probably you got your irritated throat from. Oh, hell yeah. I already know why. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to turn my fan on. Bear with me. I don't want this. Yeah, I was going to say, get a fan and open your window. All right. Good. Okay. It calls for one cup of citric acid. So, again, we use the half cupper. And we'll make one cup of that. So in all reality, what a ripoff. This was only one cup, eight ounces. What a ripoff. Glad I didn't buy a lot of that. All right. And now you need one quarter cup of fine sea salt. And that's where this one comes into play. This is exactly what it's called, fine sea salt. Now, Ruby, explain why you put fine sea salt in there. Because that's the reason, that's what they asked. This also helps, um, it also helps activate the citric acid. Oh, shoot, I put a whole half cup in. It was supposed to be a quarter cup. Holy shoot. 
Oh, well, I'll just add more of the other two ingredients. So what I'll do is I'll get a little more baking powder. Well, remember how many cups you're putting in there because that's how many teaspoons of the... Um, I put an extra quarter in, so I'm just going to scoop some more. I don't, it's not, we're, I'm not worried about it. I just don't want to breathe this crap in again. It's a whole box spilt on my floor, and I was using a dust broom to pick it up, and all the stuff went in my face. I started choking. <coughs> now, I'm going to grab a little bit more citric acid. So let's just grab the more citric acid you have, the better fizz you're going to have. All right. And we need cream of tartar. Some recipes call for cornstarch. This one calls for one tablespoon of cream of tartar. And then we got to sift these put together. So... We're going to add a heaping tablespoon of cream of tartar because of all the extra in there. And I just got this from the bulk store as well. So I'm going to go grab my sifter and a wet dish too. I'll turn that down to low. Okay, I need that for my liquids. So I'm just going to pour all of this in here for now. And then I'm going to sift it. Ooh, I'm going to turn this fan on full blast. Oh, you know what? I'm going to add my mic. Oh, no. We don't want to do that yet. Hmm. I don't want to stir it. I'm going to put a mask on. Yeah, definitely put a mask on when doing this. Vicki wants to know, do you know if there's a recipe without the salt? Nope. Nope. There's salt, you need salt to activate stuff. So the bacon soda and salt, they kind of like, it's a chemical reaction. So when it hits the water, that's where you get the fuzzing from. So you can use Epsom right? salt. Some recipes call for Epsom salt. You can see there's little lumps in there from
this is a very fine sifter. Ooh, see the dust? Mm -hmm. That's your baking soda. I have high blood pressure, but mine's regulated, and I still use the black bombs and stuff. I don't see a difference, but I don't know. I, I just don't know. Tiring on the arms. The salt doesn't go through too easily. So you can see there's lumps. See the lumps of stuff? And yep. you want a really nice thing. My sea salt is, uh, you know, what you might have to do with the sea salt, run it through a grinder or something. Yeah, this is supposed to be fine sea salt, it needs to be finer if it's gonna go through that sieve. Well, it will if I sit here and do it. Getting there. Yep. Hey, Jacqueline. This is a real fine sifter. Oh, I could feel it stuck in the bottom. I really don't want to break my sifter, so I'm just going to add a little more salt. So I know I have the perfect amount. Well, let's see if this is a good I'm missing.
that good enough? Let's see. Is that ever nice and fine? Oh, hi, Tammy. Hi, Carrie Ann. Hi, ladies. Okay, so let me move this over here. Where's that twist tie? <laughs> this out of the way okay so we want to make sure all your ingredients are mixed so I gotta try and evenly divide these batters because I'm going to make some pink and some blue Okay, hey, did you get that file downloaded? Uh, it's still downloading. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's still downloading. I wasn't exaggerating. Yeah, it's got a lot mm. in there. Yeah, it's huge. It's a huge I file. Wait hmm. That's about six years of collecting. Okay. Six years, that's a lot. Yeah, and that's still not, that's only, yeah, that's about 75% of what I have. I haven't even uploaded to that file folder what I've downloaded this year. This year. Okay, so, <laughs> I mean, how much mica powder don't matter, right? No, it's all in the color you, I guess you're wanting to go for. Right. But remember, you need one cup, one teaspoon per cup yep. of the false, whatever it's called. Yep. We have to give Ruby a crash course so she can learn how to do it. What? The digital work. Oh. That's your own baby. Yep, so we have to do a crash course. See, I'm thinking about adding those types of classes for people that really want to learn. See, I was self-taught, and um, the software that I had, I couldn't find the disc, but I found the the product key code. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade. So I upgrade to the Elements 2019. Time to close his door. He's starting. All right, so those are pink. That, that pink is really light. Um, I could add, I that bird's got to get on my nerves. I could add this other darker pink, a little bit of it. You could use food coloring. Like, if you were to mix it with, like, the baking soda first. Oh, me too. It might change once it gets wet, though, a little bit. Yeah. Uh, bye, Kathleen. Bye, Kathleen. Buy something. She says she's got an auction to go to, so she'll talk to us later. I'm going to put our uh, darker blue in Seth. And then I'm going to go melt my oils. Whoa. Whoopsies. Okay, well that's going to be a blue. <laughs> yep. It's going to be blue. And I think I'm going to leave it kind of swirly like that. That's a pinky purple. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm going to go melt my oils and I'll be right back. And I'll be back. Uh, I need a drink. Uh, you know what I'm obsessed with right now? I've been drinking a lot of peppermint tea and add a little bit of vanilla flavoring to it. Oh my god, it's so good. What? Peppermint tea. Oh yeah, that's good for your stomach too. Well, I've been adding like, it's no carbs, no sugar, vanilla flavoring to it. Oh my god, it's so good. Michaela, I might be, come here I might be able to give up coffee. <laughs> Oh, God, okay. I'm what just you adding, ready to do? huh? So, what were you doing? I'm adding some finishing touches to my mini album, and I am See? done with that. And then I'm gonna decorate the mailbox and put this bad boy up in my exhibit. So, if somebody wants it for a Christmas gift, they can get it. Martha, what are you working on? I am making a lantern that Sam made, mixed up crafts. I'm making a mini lantern. But I put that snow embossing on there, and it's flaking right off. It's bumming me out. You should have uh, maybe put some Mod Podge on it to secure it. It probably wouldn't work because it just flakes off, period. Brushing it on would have flaked it off, too. Uh I'm bummed. I'm bum bummed. Maybe, maybe if you had Mod Podge the plastic first, then put it on. I don't know. <laughs> Just make a suggestions. There you go. You go. Next time I make one, I won't use the flaking stuff. That's for sure. I think it works better on cards than uh, acetate. Angela, CC, can you tell, says, can you tell Michaela I said hi, please? Michaela, CC says hi. Michaela. Hi, Deborah. She says hi. Woohoo! You can do it, Janice. I am six free smoke, six, six free. I'm six years smoke free. CC says hi. Look, Michaela. CC says to tell Michaela she says hi. Hello. Do you hear that? Hello. Oh, you could do it. You know what? The first first two weeks were the hardest. It starts getting better. That's why I have eight. Month gets by and it's done. <laughs> That's the hub. Hang on. I gotta mute. Okay. Did mine without nothing. Well, I tried the patch, but it was too strong. So I took it off and I just woke up one morning, went cold turkey, never picked it up again. It's a mental thing. You have to mentally be ready to quit. That's a fact, Jack. Yep. Like you. So I see members that keep saying that they're going to quit. And I'm like, are you mentally ready? No. I said, well, then it's money getting on the chance. Because if you're not mentally ready, you ain't quitting. 
Okay, I got them melted into liquid form. Ooh. All right, now for the liquid ingredients, you need four tablespoons of oils of your choice. So I'm going to take a tablespoon of this palm oil, tablespoon of coconut oil, and I'm going to put a little bit extra in because of the extra I got of each. And 10 to 20 drops of essential oils. So, um, what should I make? I'm going to make ham cotton candy. So let's do 20 oh. drops. Cotton candy? Cotton candy. I love oh, this. Smells so good. Mm-hmm. Give that oh. a little stir. What did I get up for? Oh. oh. Okay, and five spritzes of 50-50 solution of water and rubbing alcohol. So I'm only going to give it two spritzes because I'm doing halves. So this is alcohol, 50-50 alcohol and water. So... What you want to do now is not pour this in here. Don't do that. Let me move stuff out of the way. You want to do a wee little bit at a time because you will activate your citric acid. So I'm just going to mix up these oils with that scent. And I'm going to stir it and drop a little wee bit in and stir it. Oh. Now you can't put too much wet in here. This just has to feel like wet sand. If you put too much liquid in, it's ruined. That's a pretty blue, actually. Yes, that is a pretty blue. Oh, my God. It smells like you can eat it. You can see it's starting to get clumpy, but that's still very dry. All right, now for to do this with my hands. See, it doesn't stay together yet, and you got to keep doing this. Spritzing it. Uh -huh. Oh my god, this smells so good. See, it doesn't stay together. <clears throat> you gotta form it. See? It won't once it stays together, then you know you have just enough fluid or liquid in it. So I'm gonna get all these essentials all mixed in with the bath bomb. This is really pretty color blue. So now what you do is you take your 50-50 and you give it two spritz and keep mixing it.
Nico's not too happy. <clears throat> yeah, that's not enough. So another two spritz. Three. I think three might do it. Dennis says, I bet that feels good on the fingers. Oh, it smells so divine. Depending what whatever fragrance you use. Oh, God, Miku, I'm going to shoot that bird. Today is not your day to get on my nerves. Yeah, so falling apart. Megan says, FYI all, got a notification, Ruby is live. Who said that? Megan. Oh. <laughs> Still very dry. This is actually a real mister, I'll tell you. Very misty. It shoots out very little water. Now it looks like it's starting to get a bit clumpy. Okay, I'm back. I had to talk to Danny. He was on his lunch. Thank you, Juki. Welcome back, back. Welcome back. So how's it coming along, Roots? Oh, it's taking a bit of time. It's okay. Yep. Irma says it looks like blue crumble. Yeah. It does. Okay. It's still not clumping together, so it'll just crumble apart. Let me look. A little Let more. Oil in it. Hang on. Let me see. Let's see what the essential oils will do for it. Okay, when your bath bomb is doing that and it's not hardening or forming a soft ball or remaining soft, yeah, uh, this is too high percentage of oil. Oh, no. 90% or higher alcohol as a liquid. The, mod the modulator inhibits the reaction between the acid and the baking soda, giving you more time to mix in the liquid. Right. I don't know. This is like okay. that is working because now it's starting to feel like wet sand. See, okay. now it's starting to clump. Okay, good. Better. All right. Okay. This is like chemistry class. Right? I know. I don't want to go back to high school. No. <laughs> I don't either.
She makes some face scrub. Mm. Who makes face scrubs? Oh, I, my son made face scrubs. Oh. Let me see. Well, that's almost there, guys. It's almost there. So, Ruby, did you see I had to tell him that she's more? Sorry? I didn't hear you, KK. You cut out. Yeah. <laughs> She, you're cutting out really bad. I had to tell her because she was determined to order. KK, you are cutting out. Oh. I can't hear you. Really badly. It should feel like heavy, wet sand. I think, I think we're, we're at that point now. Pretty sure it's because it's clumping inside of my uh, what do you call this thing? Beater. We ask. I like that little beater. Can you hear me now? I hope so. Yes. Yeah. We can hear you. A lot better now. I said I had to tell Angela because she was determined to order it from Notions. I know. You told me, hon. <laughs> Yeah, I broke the bowl. Yay, we're getting it. Look, a little bit more, I think. I don't know. Anybody want some wet salt? <laughs> you got my address. <laughs> <laughs> now that looks like wet sand. Yeah, it just needs a teeny tiny bit more of that. I would leave some out to test in water. Let's see how it fizzes. Yep. The file finally. I'm going to put it in the fridge because they said if you want it to harden quicker, put it in the fridge. Mm. <coughs> okay. Okay, but I think I think that's forming a beautiful sage. See? Mm -hmm. It's exactly the way you want it now. It's clumping together. So I'm going to do three blue and three pink. Oh, oh yeah, this is perfect. Perfect. Okay. I'm pretty sure I got it all mixed in here pretty good. All right, let's grab our mold. You and let's put a little bit in the bottom. You want to start off with some and pack it super tight. One of those in there. I bet your hands smell amazing. Yeah, this all smells amazing. 
Oh, that's uh, that's kind of sticking up. Lay it sideways. What? Lay the 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 thing sideways. Okay, well I gotta dig this out now. I had it packed in there pretty darn good. Yeah, now put it in there and then lay it sideways. Okay. I would think. I don't know how how deep are those. Um, there. Um, I really don't know. <laughs> they look deep. They, they are pretty deep. But they're probably about at least two inches. Yeah. There you go. Yay. You have my address, right? I want some of these. What? I said, you have my address, right? <laughs> uh, I no, I don't. <laughs> okay, so. I don't even take baths. I take showers. I don't take baths either very often anyway. I'm mostly a shower. No, me, I'm a bath. I hate showers. That is the one thing I miss with my house in Maryland is my Jet Whirlpool tub. Oh, I'm going to pack that in there. Good. All right. So that's packed in there pretty darn good, I would say. Okay, you're not worried about your grandson watching your YouTube video and saying here that he's getting a dragon's eye? <laughs> <laughs> no, but he probably is. I've often thought about that too. Did you? Yeah. Making things for the kids and kids are watching it. Yeah. <laughs> I can't find my tweezers. Well, this is my very first time ever making a bath bomb. So I think you're doing amazing. You give it I've always wanted to do the bath bombs too. I've just never You probably could. I'll be in your tester team. You got my address. Oh, would you guys quit? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she's gonna send us, yeah, us coal. Here you go. Here's your bath bomb, and it's a big rock. Oh, please. <laughs> my mask is wrapped around my glasses. I am making a huge mess. But that's what's fun. Yes. All right. That might be a little too much. Where's his other one? No. Dragon's eye, right there. Okay. I have got this stuff dries very quickly, so just letting you know that. So when you want to get a wash set, your wash is gonna smell like cotton candy now. Oh yeah. You got me wanting to order stuff make bath bomb mat bath bombs now. I know. <laughs> she has me wanting to do it. I have stuff saved in my like a wish list or something. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now she wants me to yeah. I did nothing of the sort. You're an enabler. Oh my god, this smells so good. I know you're supposed to really pack them in here. Yep, bombs. All right. So there's the blue ones. 
actually, this one here can use a little bit more hair. So now I'm going to make with the leftovers in a Christmas bauble. So let me just set this off to the side. Make sure I got these good and packed. I could feel the top of these crusting. So let me grab some Christmas baubles. Okay. With my yucky hands. Yeah. This is a nice uh this this would be a nice little Christmas present for like uh son's girlfriends. Yeah. know where the bag is with all those Christmas bubbles in it. I just bought some of my fault. Uh oh. Uh-huh. Find anything in this bedroom. Watch the right there in front of you, Martha. You're just overlooking. <laughs> I have cleaned everything off the table. I've went through all my pencil stuff, and I can't find it. Are they on the floor? I just got through looking on my hands and knees with a flashlight. No. Are they in your house? I no. <laughs> Huh. I'll look there. So, the last place they can be is probably in the trash bin, which I'll have to go through later. Oh. <clears throat> they just kind of up and disappeared. Are you kidding me? What? No idea. Where did I put it? Hi, Kilburns. Oh my God, this is craziness. Hey, everybody. Wow. Well, I don't know. I honestly do not know where they are. There was a big bag of the baubles. There was floral stuff in it. And I'm not seeing it. Remember, look for something. Remember you said you put some stuff in different containers and what you were looking for? I do not believe this. And I need those for my tree. Oh my God, I hope I didn't throw them out by accident. That would have been a real dick move. Ah, found them. I buried them. Whew. 
I bet you this dried. Oh, it's starting to harden. Oh, I that's what I was looking for yesterday, Ruby. When I was saying looking for my balls, that's what my balls, my clear, clear up one. Because silhouette. Uh, one of the artists there at Silhouette uh -huh. has a download for a miniature uh, house with a little tree that fits under one of those domes on top of a mason jar lid. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah. Wait, do they have the little red truck? Yes, as a decal. As oh. a three, three yes, it was just uploaded today. Okay. Well, that wasn't supposed to do that. As you can see, pop out quite easily. Because <laughs> it's got a lot of oil in it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm just going to sit this one off to the side. Because there's another little blue one. Half a ball. But that's good enough for him. And let's bring Maya's in here. Which hers has got blue mixed in it. Oops. Okay. Let's mix some more oils. We want. This is already starting to. Tablespoon. And some extra. Make sure there's a tablespoon. Now hers, I'm going to do, uh, which one did I say? Let's do cupcake and some strawberry. So there's cupcake. Ooh. And there's strawberry. Oh, you know what I forgot to put in it, Ange? What? This stuff. Yep. Ooh. Oh, did well. you do did you do it in the other one? Nope. What is it? It keeps the mica from, it helps the oils bind and it keeps the mica from staining your tub. Oh, well, my daughter has to clean it, not me. Somebody, <laughs> I look at it. <laughs> I might mm. have but I want that. It's so bad. <laughs> I know. Oh dear Lord, that smells so divine. Now I need vinegar or water. I'm going to put quite a few bits of the alcohol and water. All right. Oh well, there's a little bit of blue in there. Who cares? All right, time to get the wet hand, the hands out again. Get these oils all mixed in with that. Oh. 
Oh, it smells incredibly good. What does it smell like? Like strawberry cupcake, like strawberry shortcake. Ooh. Hey, I, I was an 80s kid, so did any of y'all that were 80s child collect the strawberry shortcake figurines where she smelled like strawberries? Yep. I do. Yes. I had the sheet set. I had the light bright sheet set. You remember light bright? Yep. Uh huh. I love light bright. Yep. Light bright. Not light bright. Star star bright. Star bright. Rainbow bright. Rainbow bright. That's it. Rainbow bright. <laughs> I did have a light bright too. We all did, I think. My kids all had that. Uh huh. And then Hunger Hunger Hippos. Um, I had. You remember the AG bear, the bear that would talk. Um, Teddy Ruskin. Teddy Ruskin. Yeah. Then there was one um, called AG something. I can't remember. It scared my brother to death. That thing got to talking by itself when he walked into the room. He tossed that sucker right out of that bedroom and never touched it again. He's like, hey, you want to play? Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Um, I had a cooking set. I had um, like one of those Fisher Price cooking places, you know, where it has a mini kitchen and all that. Mm -hmm. um, Barbie dolls out my boo -doo, boo doo. I love Barbie. I still, I got to get Christmas Barbie this year. Yes. Yeah, I was going to get it. You know how much it is this year? Huh? $35. Yeah. I paid $40 for my Barbies. I've got a Barbie in there. I paid $120 for. I collect Barbies. I see. I, I hear this. <laughs> Y'all saw my Barbies rack, and that's not even half of them. I would love to find Rainbow Bright on DVD or Blu-ray. Yeah. The whole seasons. Yeah. And Thundercats. I, I like He-Man and She-Ra. Um, mm. Definitely the cartoons. Oh, hell. The cartoons that... Um, this you have to do in like stages. You can't just drop all the liquid in here or you're going to ruin your bath bombs. What yeah. color should I make next for my other daughter? Purple. Purple? Black. I'm going to make two colors. Purple. Purple and what? I want to put them in these for okay. Cassie. Purple and a peachy orange. Or because black, you black bath bombs. Black. Black. Well, she got married in Halloween. Yep, black bath bombs with gold glitter. Or uh, <laughs> well, not, 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 that not that daughter. Not that daughter. Oh. Well, you could do first purple. The one with change. <laughs> I say purple and a peachy orange. Those are always pretty bath bombs. All right. Do you want me to make them live, or do you guys want me to make them other than that? Out, well, it's outside. Christmas. Do a red or a green. No, that's you got to do pretty for girls. These are their Chris going in their Christmas stockings. Too bad you ain't got like dried flowers you can press in the top of it. Like real you can ones. Get, like, yeah, real dried, uh, like little rose petals or dried rose uh, bud. Yeah. You could have rosemary or thyme. Yeah, I would do that. I would put some kind of herb. See, it's not quite sticking together enough. Once you this? make these once, you'll begin to understand the, the consistency it has to be. Do you have any, like, dried flowers or herbs, like lavender? <laughs> 
No, lavender would have been nice, eh? Mm -hmm. Okay, now it's starting to feel cold. And when it feels cold, for some reason, it's starting to clump together more. I don't know why. It's because it's activating it. That, uh, it's creating magic. My grandchildren are going to love these. Not quite enough, right? I'm going to love them, too. Okay, okay. I love yeah. you. I'm going to love them a lot. Well, especially when you guys make them, right? No, I can't wait. we got to have the ruby ones. Oh, right. Oh, we got to have the rubies. I wonder what kind of we smells I should do for Cassie. I've got jasmine. What? Jasmine and honeysuckle, maybe? Honeysuckle. Honeysuckle. And rose. What? Honeysuckle and rose. Yeah. Do you have a lavender? Nope. I'm going to well, order Jasmine some. Would good. Jasmine would go good with the purple. Yeah. Honeysuckle would go good with the orangey peach color. Right. So you could even use some orange and copper together and get like a, a burnt orangey color. Real pretty color yeah gotta keep trying still too still not sticking together and forming a, a ball I guess this is a long slow process ooh create your own unicorn garden Clump up. Start clumping for me. Please. How many of you in the audience is going to make these? One for yes, two for no. One, you are going to make these. And two, no, you enjoy watching Ruby do it. <laughs> And three, have her send it to her testers. Exactly. Have her send three, put three if you want us to test run them. I'll test run them myself in the water. Right. <laughs> <laughs> nice okay. try, girl. We got a three. Yeah, of course you do. <laughs> we got a one, too. Crafty Patch is going to do it. Three, Deborah. See, three, three. Amy, pay no it. attention. Pay no attention to the people on the panel. Hey, another three. I ain't making none, and I sure ain't gonna do one, two, or three. Kilburns is a two. Amy Stokes says she made some last year. How'd they turn out, Amy? Am I doing it right, Amy? Tweezers work. Am I clumping it properly? Help me. It's my first time, too. Huh? Tammy says three about eight, ten times. Let's see. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, five six, seven, eight, eight. Eight, nine, ten, eleven threes, Ruby. They don't know what they're doing. Tammy Porter's got a three, 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 three. And he said it they've turned out great and it does take time to mix. Oh, okay. You have to get it to that consistency. Yeah. And you got it. It's a slow process by the looks of things. I want to get. It's got to be just right. Like if it's too powdery, when you go to take the, the bath bomb out, it's probably just going to like crumble in your hand that's why it's got to be some kind of a little bit of dampness to this salt and flour flour um acid i'm looking up to see if they have a bath bomb diy kit oh god cheater <laughs> Oh, 
look, they do. <laughs> oh, look, they do, she says. They do. Fifteen dollars. Yeah, how many bath bombs does it make? Uh, it doesn't say. I would have to click on it. Probably about. They have another one. Balls. Uh, well, here's one for twenty nine dollars. It's the bath bomb kit, complete kit with lavender rose essentials oils. There's actually a couple different. Anybody is interested in making them, you can purchase the kits on Amazon. Oh, what is what is Martha holding up? A lantern. Oh. Let's put the light in it. You didn't say anything, and I kept seeing something bobbing at the bottom there. De -boo -boo, de -boo -boo. That's cute. Sam from Mixed Up Craft made it. So I made one because this one doesn't go on the tree. I'm almost there, I think. The jingle bell works too. Kilburn says she, she takes she don't take baths, she showers. She what? She don't take what? She don't take baths. I, don't take she baths. Showers. I always shower, so do I. I always take a bath. Always. That Angela always baths. Oh, I do I do both. Yep. I shower because it's like, why do I want to sit in my own dirty water? Now if I want to relax, I'll take a bath. bath. Yeah. <laughs> With the bath bomb. With Ruby's bath bomb, you know, I am her tester. <laughs> right. You know, I have to try. Where did I put that one of Seth's? That spare one I'm gonna. That's going to be my tester. I should go put it in the fridge. Dry it out quicker. Yeah, I'll say this takes forever to mix. It seemed like that blue one didn't take as long. Yeah, it did. It didn't seem like it, but it did. That's called a whisk. Yep. I know. I like that little cute little whisk. I need to find me one. Oh, I got a whole set of three that came from Amazon a few years back. It's getting clumpy. It's starting to. Getting there. Almost. It's almost clumpy. Almost. consuming <laughs> whoopsies build it
I don't know. I'm wondering maybe I should put a little more oil in this. Or do you think it's got enough? Well, I don't know. Huh? This is just not sticking. I'm not wetting it enough. I'm going to go to bed smelling like strawberry and cupcake, cotton candy. Yeah, Jeff's going to find you delish. He's going to find you irresistible. Right. Hi. <laughs> Honey, do you want to taste me? I taste just like a cupcake. <laughs> Splash of strawberry. <laughs> hey, we're getting there now. Hi. Why am I oh, it's getting heavy? heavy. Yeah. There we go. Think we got her, Pontiac. Let's have a look. A little wee bit more. Let's have a look, see. Get her done. Get her done. Get her done. I really think that is not good enough. Let me see. No, it's just crumbling. Jeez Louise. I think the alcohol evaporates. I think this is good. There we go. Finally. After all that, now it, now it, now it's a lumpy bump. Whew, that was a lot of work, and I ain't making a big ass mess. Not at all. All right. So, put some pink in there. Whoopsies. <sighs> I'm 
Where are you splitting? Those are starting to harden. in this baby in. ones look like they're popping out. Why are they popping out? frustrating me right now. These ones here are acting weird. It's like it needs to let air out or something. Feels like it. Does it need to let air out? What do you mean? I don't know. They feel like they're got an air bubble in them or something. You got one. They don't feel like the other ones? No, this one here, I could feel the air in it. Or it's just me. I don't know. No, I could see it bulging. The other one looks like it's got a face in it. <laughs> there for a second. I don't know. I'm going to just leave that. 
There ain't much left of the pink to make the whole half. <coughs> but that could be your sampler. That will be my sample one. See, look at that's puffing out of there. And that's there just is. really weird. It was like a cupcake. Yeah. Yet this one here is not doing that. It's perfect. Maybe you needed it too much. I don't know. Uh, no. It feels the same way the blue one did. Oh, well. Just it's separating. What in the heck? It's not packing. See? Look at I don't know, it didn't work. Not the pink ones anyway. These ones definitely did. They're already hardening. Yeah, those look right. Those don't. You're supposed to pack them tight. Doesn't seem right. All right, I'm just going to leave this one and see if it, what it does. Yeah. See if it hardens like these. Like this is pretty cool. Where is the other one? The pink ones are not working. I can see it already. There's look at they're just puffing up. It's like they're activated. Maybe you put too much of something in it. That's a possibility. Because it's certainly not like these blue ones. Let me look up and see what would make them puff up. Okay, you do that. I gotta run to the potty. <coughs> okay. In the kitchen. All right. All right. Well, at least it's only half the batter. All. Uh. What could cause bath bombs?
And all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. <laughs> See. Was she spraying with witch hazel? Okay. Whatever she was spraying, she did it too much. And that's what's causing them to bu uh, bubble up. I got to find out what she was spraying with. Does anybody know? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I'm horrible. I'm such a bad person, Lynn. No. You're a goober. I don't know what she was using. I don't think it matters whatever the liquid liquid was water witch hazel whatever you use as a liquid she did too much of it it'll bubble and that the only thing I've heard people say to do is alcohol and water that's what somebody on the chat just said yeah, alcohol and water on. okay Ruby what were you spraying on it vinegar and water or baking watch watch there you go. What were you spraying on it? Water and alcohol, like it says. Okay, you were you done too much. And what happened was the puffiness is means that the stuff was activating. Yep. You did too much of it. It's supposed to resemble uh, almost wet sand, almost wet. But look how the mica powder is floating around. You didn't put that stuff in it. You didn't nope. put that stuff in the blue batch. Nope. Okay. Now put now put the pink in there and see what happens. See if the pink mica floats with that stuff in there. Oh, the pink still works. Yeah, it, it'll still work. But see, the mica in the pink's not floating. Yeah, it is. But no. not as bad as the blue. No, not as bad as the blue. Oh, look it. <laughs> they did oh, work. I bet you it smells like blueberry, strawberry muffin. Oh, it, just, it smells incredible in here. That just smells amazing. <coughs> but I don't really care for these mica powders, though. I really don't. The pink is just as bad. Well... It's not supposed to leave a ring on the tub, right? Oh, yeah. But I don't see it leaving a ring. No, that did work, though. All right. Well, I'm going to clean up my mess, and I'll be back. Okay. I got to clean up this. So, I'll let you. Huh? I'll let you talk. Because I have to oh, come back. Well, to paper mache and paper onto my mailbox if you want to put it on me. Yep. Just wiping off some mess here. I can't even get to my mouse. Oh, shoot. What? What happened? Oh, my God. I don't know what I did to my chat, so... I really mucked it up. There we go. It's on you, Angela, I think. Nope. No, it is. All right. I'm just paper macheing. Thank you. 
KK, you're cutting out really bad, girlfriend. Oh my god, the internet on my own. Get that acting up. I don't understand. Oh, I'm going There we go. Yep, I'm super saying um, I did a video on my album. It's over there up on my YouTube channel. Um, yep, you have to be on it later. Hey, you're uh, Karen, mute yourself, boo. Oh, I'm on. done. So that's not me. I don't even have the other part of YouTube pulled up. No, the other part. Hey, Kay. Oh. Okay. What you doing? What? I just got home from. I was yelling um, at the um, is, is Ruby here too? Oh, uh, she's gone to clean up stuff. Ruby, come back here for a minute. She's not in her room. Is something, oh, okay? Is something wrong? Uh, no, I just wanted to say it once. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we'll wait. Okay. What are you working on? Well, I got my mini album done, and now I'm doing the mailbox. Oh, cool. I'm. I am eating, guys. Sorry. Um, That's I'm okay. starving now. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do a crackle effect on it, so that's why I'm um, doing stuff in sections. Okay, my son's on good internet, so I told him that uh, he won't use it later tonight. Was he wanting to use the internet? And that I was on, so he's downloading his game. And now he's at, now he's mouthing me, so that's why I'm screaming. He won't use it later. Bet. Yeah, because you were cutting out really well. You know, well, I found out he's in there downloading, uh, updating his Xbox. And she's still fading in and oh, out. Really. Hold on, I'm about to go. Yeah, she's. You're cutting in and out real bad. She needs to go ham on him. <laughs> <laughs> You know, she gets the internet during the day mm -hmm. a lot, and then they get it in the afternoon. Is that Ruby there? No, Ruby's not back yet. Oh, okay. No. Peeps are watching me do this. Um, KK says. I'm going to make my uh, uh, too. <laughs> You're what, Karen? Okay. I'm going to mute myself so I can chew. Okay. I can't hear you chew. You must be down on a, a darn loud chewer if you to mute yourself. Out, Karen. One, two. <laughs> what? Oh, girl. I say, would it be wrong if I count as she's chewing? Oh, okay. Well, see, you're cutting out so bad. We're catching bits and pieces. does that. Yeah, we're catching bits and pieces, though. 
echo so you can hear it all. <laughs> uh, heard you snort. <laughs> Oh, goodness. What? Nothing. It's just annoying that I can't talk. You know? Is he in the middle of a download? Well, here's the thing. The hubby got on to play his game this morning. Um. And he disconnected. My son's cell phone spot, and apparently he was updating it. So instead of asking if I was on it, he just went and connected. That's why I kept breaking up. Oh, I'm about to make me some broccoli and shrimp alfredo for lunch. I can do without the shrimp part. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> so I'm steaming it and then I'll cook it. I'll make the Alfredo sauce and all that. I'm just decoupaging. And I'm going to use that egg crackle stuff I have. Hi, Jean. See chat. But Jean said that she sent you an email. Who, me? Jean sent no. me an email. No, Karen. She sent Karen an email. Yes. Yeah, she sent me an yes. email. Um, Jean, Jean and I are friends. Okay, Jean. I will. Um, I will ch check it in a little bit, hon. Thank you. Oh. It would hurry and come up, hurry up, hurry up one day. Hi, Karen. Ruby. Okay, yeah. she's, got, she's got news for us and she waited till you got back. You do? Yes, I do. Okay, oh. I'm kind of liking your tone. <laughs> <laughs> Come All on, baby. Can do is gone. What? Oh, God, praise Jesus! Yay! Yes. Oh, Yay. my God. What? The cancer's gone? Yay. Oh, yes, God, it is. Karen. Oh, Woo! my God. Buckle. It is all gone. Okay, and what does that mean? Okay, everybody. In about, a, in about a month, um, they will put me on chemo pills. I have to take twice a day. When I start my first pill, the infusion, I have to go every three weeks for an infusion with these pills. Um, but the, the first pill and the infusion have to be given for some specific reason on the same day. Um, I okay. think it's going to be any, um, um, cause it does have side effects. And I told the doctor, can you just tell my mom, because I don't want to know about them. Um, so he gave my mom a paper and stuff for her to read. Um, and, but yeah, he said, there's a little bit of scarring on my lung. He said that was there before the cancer. So that's probably there from smoking. Um, right. which I do not know. I have not done since February 1st, um, but the lungs look good. My head, there is nothing there but the 
um, scar tissue from the surgery. Right. Um, pelvis and, and colon, where it originally started, um, all look very healthy, and my liver and kidneys look very, very healthy. Oh, my God, Karen, Yay. that is wonderful news. Oh my god! I'm literally getting goosebumps right now. I know, right? That's yeah. twice you beat it, girl. Twice. Yeah. Oh, no, right. Let's hope that this, whatever this treatment is, they're fixing to get, give me, will hold it back at bay, or God holds it at bay. I don't care which one, as long as <laughs> one of them does it. <laughs> right. Awesome. Oh, that so is you have to take the chemo pills, kind of like Thank a lag, kick in the butt with it. Do what now, why do, you have to, why do you have to take the chemo pills, kind of like the last kick in the butt? Um, no. Um, I am stage four. Oh, okay. There is, no, there is mm -hmm. no cure for me, but they can try and um, control it. And these pills, um, if cancer tries to come up, these pills will turn into chemo and attack it and eat it, more or less. Nice. That is it's kind of like a Just so, uh, if it'll keep it out of my system, um, I can't ask for no more than that. And they said that they're going to keep a very, very close watch on me with it. So we, we will see, but it's the same chemo. Um, it's just a very low dose of the same chemo that I was bringing home with the chemo pump, the five FU. And, um, um, I don't have a problem with the five FU. I don't have no reactions to it or anything. Okay. So, you know, um, and, this seems to be the thing now um, is to do the pills and stuff. I know quite a few people after their treatments and stuff and the cancer was gone, um, um, they get put on the pills, but for some, and, and I don't know if it's with all cancers, but I know my cancer, they said they could not put me on the pills until they knew for sure that all the cancer was out of my body. It's so. like the maintenance, right? Yeah, that's that's how I take it because um it's, it's like a preventative or a because they can't because say that will, she's one hundred percent cured. No, because, they'll never they'll never say that because it, it took a walkabout, you know, and because it took a walkabout, right. it means it's traveling um through my body and that it ended up in my head. They were surprised it even went to my head. So um that's why they said um, I can't be cured, but I can be, what was the word they used? Um, I forget the word. It, it, control. Can't be cured, but it can be controlled. So that's what we're shooting for is controlling it. You can live a productive adult life. Yeah. Yeah, that's what, that's what, that's what I'm praying for. He lets me grow old because, you know, I'm only 52. I'm not ready to let go yet. Oh, well, that is fantastic news, Karen. Fantastic news. Yes. Yes. And I'm glad I get to share it with all you guys. So are we, we're very, very glad. That is awesome. Oh my God! There's salt and stuff on my floor. I can't ask for a Christmas so present. Cool a day before Thanksgiving, too. I know. Like she said, the best Christmas present. Mm -hmm. All right, back to this. Absolutely right. It's all God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Praise Jesus. All right, I'm putting my mask back on because I'm making another batch. This time, I'm following it to a T. What you making, Ruby? Bath bombs. Oh, okay. So what is this? That's the salt. You now click back on me, right? Yeah. I'm only going to use a quarter of a cup this time. Exactly what this thing happens with. That's the salt, I think. Or, yeah. I think. Or is that the citric acid? 
<clears throat> ah, it's the citric acid. All right, let's start again. Citric acid is one cup. There's half. And there's half. And don't have any cuts on your fingers because all this stuff burns them. Yeah. Because they're really long. I'm going to do something with them. Well, I can't paint my own nails. This is the baking soda. That's waiting to happen. Didn't hang, hang on it. I'll be right back. I don't want to stir it up too much. You making this for your girls for presents, Ruby? Yes. Aww. Yep. I've already made the surprise one, so if you watch the video from the beginning, you'll see. Uh -huh. Okay. Yep. And the salt is a quarter of a cup of fine sea salt. But I have a cut on my finger here, a paper cut from work, and I'm feeling it with the salt. And then a tablespoon of cream of tartar. I'm going to finish eating, guys, and then I'll be back in later. Okay, Karen. Okay, bye. Bye. Great news. Thank you for sharing. All right. I am not sifting this. I am just going to stir it up. And I'll break the clumps with my hands. Good enough. Get lost. Okay. Now we'll start with our wet ingredients. <clears throat> I don't know. So we should do purple, you say? Dark purple? I think I'm just going to do them all dark purple. Maybe I'll add some color to this purple. And make different colors. So let's start with purple. Very light. These mica powder suck balls. Okay. 
What else do we have here? Black pearl. We want black. Um, cherry. Let's try some cherry in with the purple. See if this darkens it up. Enough. Now we need our four tablespoons of oil. So I don't know which oil this one is. There's one. There's two. I'm going to use almond oil in this one. Three. Which one was the coconut? I think this one. And four. Where is that little bottle of phosphate or whatever it is? <coughs> Did I bury it? <clears throat> the stuff to help it not stick to your tub. Where is it? Who took it? Oh boy. Where is it? Holy shit, I hope I didn't shake my towel outside and shake that bottle with it they probably did oh jeez louise i'm just gonna go take a quick check nobody's here everybody's quiet i'm here but i'm quiet Arrivederci. i'm stuffing my <laughs> I just made shrimp and broccoli Alfredo for lunch. Oh. What the heck did I do with that little white bottle? I think I rolled it up in my towel and threw it out when I shook my towel out. That was just not a smart move. Go check, Ruby. Oh, it's right here on the floor. Yay. I gotta go get the water bottle in. I forgot it. I gotta put water in it. This one says one teaspoon. Nope. All right. And a teaspoon of Holy sorbet. Well, it's going to take the whole bottle. <coughs> it's 
So I don't know what scents to use for her. Anna says, what are you adding now? This come with the mica powder. Oh. It's called polysorbate for bath bombs. What it does, Angela looked it up. <clears throat> what it does is it prevents the mica powder when it dissolves in the bathtub. It prevents it from sticking to the side, make it like a tub ring, you know, from your colors. So that's basically all that does. How about jasmine and vanilla? Or honeysuckle and vanilla, or what? Well, honeysuckle and vanilla would be good. Mm, I love vanilla and I love honeysuckles. Mm. All right, well. I gotta go grab the, <clears throat> the scents. Really? these fell right out of the bag smart did not want that to happen but I uh, thought it came back so I didn't seal it that's why now oh, you won't fall out you sucker okay so This one's honeysuckle. You guys sure? Mm. Okay, it's kind of perfumey. I'm going to put a couple of dabs of jasmine in. She loves jasmine tea. And the rest will be vanilla. Cupcake. Strawberry. So Anna Marie said, okay, thanks. I had no idea they made such a thing. Was thinking of making some for my girls and friends for the holidays. Yeah. So I'm going to power that mostly with vanilla if I can. There we go. Now we shall see what this will smell like. Different. It's actually very therapeutic. I don't know. It's kind of therapeutic y. I'm going to add a drop of. The soaking in the bathtub is supposed to be therapeutic. It's supposed to be quiet time. Yep. And I'll add a couple of dabs of strawberry. I don't like that strong smell of honeysuckle. Um, I wish I could smell it. Mm, not really, you don't. Let's put a little dab of all the smell. How about a couple of dabs of rose? Let's try that. Okay. I'm back. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. I got me a piece of pumpkin pie. Yuck. Oh my gosh, touch your face. <laughs> Yuck. With a whip. Uh -huh. okay, I can have the cool whip. <laughs> I love pumpkin pie. I do too. There, I spritz the water. Mixing all these up. <coughs> I 
Ooh, whoopsies. I wasn't watching what I was doing. Whoopsies. It's a pretty color. I just kicked the crap out of myself and scared my dog. <laughs> no, no. What'd you do? I was drinking a water bottle. I was drinking my um, PHP water here, and it did that little popping sound, like the, the plastic was popping out. Yeah. Yeah, it, it scared the crap out of me and my dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I literally got tears in my eyes right now. <laughs> oh. You ever see that, um, you ever seen that cat video, like, where the cat would be dancing on the bed and following a light, and the girl made the light go on the wall, and the cat smacked the wall? Uh-huh. You've seen that? Yes. Okay. That's hilarious. Well, four of my cats are laying on my bed, and it was really quiet in the house and everything, and... Um, I raised up and I saw them and then I went, hey, like that, it scared the fire of that dead going uh, raw. He ran off the bed and hit the door. <laughs> I'll I, I was like, oh my and they were dead asleep. And I said, hey, like that. Uh huh. Uh -huh. That was hilarious. I should have had that on video. She's like, no, don't attack me. I gotta be a charging block for my phone. I think this is probably a, I don't know. Get out of the damn Almost there. I don't want to overdo it again. So I'm just going to spray it in here. Get some more of this oil and just do that.
that's a pretty pink. Yeah, it is, eh? Like a rose color. It's purple. Purple? <clears throat> yep, it's a purple color. I wonder if I just pack it now if that's too dry. I don't want to overdo it again. Get out of here, bud bud. A little bit more and that's it. <laughs> Do you think this will fall apart? Look. I don't know. Look. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving, country, quiet country creations. Have a beautiful day. Well, I think this feels like wet sand to me, so I don't want to overdo it. It's starting to get clumpy, so. Well, then I think go for that's it. That's all I'm going to do. Hopefully it doesn't fall apart. I don't know. One more squirt. There. Like, if it's not all damp, it's not going to harden. It'll just fall apart. Right? And I don't want it to. So, let's do a couple of round ones. Oh, that's cool. I really and truly hope this works, but I got a feeling it. it might not. I think they're just going to break. Maybe not. I don't know. I just don't want to <coughs> start doing like I did. My ass. So I think these will be fine. These are pretty. That bat seems to be doing better. Yes. I didn't over wet it. Because think about it. You had put so much moisture in the other batch. It was like it was in a bathtub. It did. It's puffing right up. It looks like a big puff ball. Yeah. Well, it, it's because it was feel like, well, heck, it's got a lot of water. So it's going to. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, so I'm going to stick another color in here. Let's put some... No. Um, ooh, let's put some green in it. Change the color up a bit. Shut the hell up. Daniel. Oops. Bye, Irma. Have a good day. Happy th Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. I almost said happy Halloween. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, I would have been right with you. Oh my gosh. I feel like that emoji I found, we've seen it several times where the it's like a turkey that's got like a, a Santa beard and Easter bunny ears and uh, something Halloween on it. All the, you know, commemorate all the holidays. He goes, happy everything. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> Perfectionist. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you, Rajul. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Happy Thanksgiving. Okay. I'm going to put some teal. No. This color. Dark scarlet. Ooh. Let's see what that turns out like. I'll wash out the bowl with the salt. There we go. It actually looks like puke. I don't look like puke. So attractive. Looks pinky purple. <laughs> it's like two tone. Yeah, why are some pink and some purple? Because I'm adding different mica powders. Oh, okay, okay, okay. There's actually three colors here. They're not the same. I'm fixing to hang me a cat called Bud Bud. What? I'm fixing to hang me. Bud Bud! Treat, treat! What's he doing? He, I can, I have lights hung up on the other side of my wall, and the other side of my wall is my bedroom, and I can hear him playing with them. Lainey says someone's ass is going to smell good, and then she says, hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> sure is gonna smell good, my daughters. Um, copper. We could put copper in it. Change the color up. And aquamarine blue. 
I just want to darken it now. Michaela, get Bud Bud out of whatever it is you're in. This is like a really violently purple, it looks almost like purple. Uh huh. Can you tell it's purpley? Yeah, it's purple. Mm. Looks gray purple. Yeah, it does. Nicely packed in. Anna Maria Rosales asks, hey, Ruby, when you're yes. done making these, can you add the written recipe to the drop down info bar for future reference? Yes, I would like to try these. Yes, I will. I promise I'll do it. trying to get them all kind of level you know yeah he says thanks no problem they just want to tuck down down the sides <laughs> watch my daughter come out of the bathtub and she's blue <laughs> I'll be laughing. <laughs> well, they were calling you Smurf the other day. They then you can call her Smurfette. They were calling me Smurfette at work. Yeah, so see, just call her Smurfette then. Yep. Why were they calling you Smurf? Because I had blue hands. Oh. Yep. Well, these ones aren't swelling up, so I know I didn't overmix them. So if they start swelling, just run for your life. Because <laughs> that's what mine did. I'll show you them if you want. They're puffy. I would laugh my butt off if you said they were exploded. <laughs> that's what they might be doing. There. There. There we go. That is amazing. You just got to make sure it's packed super tight. And those are packed really good. 
I'm pretty sure they are. So I'm just going to sit this one over here. As long as they don't, as long as they don't start poofing, then I'm okay, I think. There's not enough to do a whole ball, but a half a ball. Got more on this paper or on this towel than anywhere. So, have y'all got any ideas on the wreaths y'all are going to make? I don't. You don't? I mean, I do. What did I say I don't for? Of course I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I think. Like, stay put. This just keeps moving. It's just oily. I know what I'm doing, but I ain't telling. Nana, nanny, woo, woo. All right, I'm going to go get the other ones. They've had a chance to set. I think the ones I made, Seth. I'll just leave this one as a sample. All right. Time to clean up my mess real quick. I'm just throwing all this in here to the sink to wash more dishes. Now go get the other ones. I'll be right back. I'm not going to wash my hands. <coughs> I'm coming, kiddo. Grandma's coming. Grandma's coming to get you. Ready for a good laugh? Yeah. Look at them. They puffed, yeah. puffed right up. Well, that's not too bad. They're cupcakes. <laughs> so. Cupcake bath bombs. Get up in the morning and Yeah, they're cake bombs. <laughs> I might do that. Oh, look at it. These ones turned out super nice. Oh. I got to remake Maya's. No, what I'm not pretty remake right now. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's pretty. <coughs> yeah. Even if we don't get the 
And what I would do next time is like when you put them in the mold, like shave them off to make them even on the bottom. Why? Well, I think they look cool like that. Oh, the puppy one? Oh, okay. No, these ones. Like they're they're cool. They I'll show you. Look it. They sit like all right let's put one in a bag and see how it's gonna look these right. turned out adorable can't say much for these though really can't <laughs> that's all right i'll redo maya's no big deal Get out of here. No. Get out, almond. Go. 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 I'm not sure how you're gonna pull these like Hi. that. Did you let it get out of there? Huh? Let's, go Let's there. try it. <clears throat> Oh, that's very interesting. Yeah, Terry, I believe you can sand the rough edges. Either like a nail file. Look at that. That looks like something you got from a store. Look at Look at that. What is that noise? I don't know. I'm on muter. Who wow. was that? What was that? I don't know. Oh, a vacuum or something, maybe. Or a food grade. That is flipping cool. That looks perfect. This is. So what I'm going to do for the next one, oh, I put that in my mouth. I licked my finger. Ugh. Oh, God, that's disgusting. <coughs> I think I'm going to cut some of this plastic down. I don't think you need all of it. That's just too much plastic on here. Makes it hard. There we go. I'm gonna have to put that in the water. Yeah, the bubble blue. Yeah, I'm just looking at like, seaweed and trying to get it. I'm gonna 
Wow. This is amazing. Yeah, this works really good, don't it? It Let's sure does. It. Oh. And it protects it. Like, it's literally protected. A whole box of... These are... So, it's so much fun to do this, guys. I know. <laughs> I get excited to doing stuff like that. <laughs> this is actually very exciting. My grandson's going to freak out when he does this. He'd be like, Grandma, how did you do that? <laughs> I already can hear him. Really don't need all this plastic. Need that. 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 And that. Still good, and then second. No, no, no. I'm not for them because I'm out pretty much. I actually need to order some more. Oh, yeah. I ripped it. I burned it. They're sticking up. <coughs> there we go. <coughs> I think that's so cool. So professional looking. They're all different shapes. Clear bags for what, Annie, Anna? These are the clear bags made for soap bombs or bath bombs. These are so cool. Honestly, those are adorable. Oh, well, I got to remake Maya's and I'll show you, show you hers when I redo them because these here babies. These are not going to turn out. I'll be very shocked if they do, but I don't know. They, they might. I've been pushing them down, but they're just popping right back out. Yeah, it's because you got so much moisture in it. Yeah. Oh, well. Tomorrow's another day. All right, guys. I hope this was <clears throat> fun for you. It was. This is hard as a rock these bombs so these are so adorable I can't wait to see Cassie's in the different in the different shades of pinks and purples how long does it take them to set well how long did it take these not very long mind you I didn't saturate these like I did the pink ones and they're taking a lot longer so these turned out pretty cool these were fun mm-hmm 
Maybe you put like a fun little sticker or jewel on top of it in the center of the sunflower. I mean, sunflower. Yep. And sunflower. yep. I'm just going to make a box full of bath bombs for them. <clears throat> well, not a box full, but I don't know, maybe 10 each. I'm going to make them some of the square and the, and the round ones like I've done for Cassie. And, and Leanne, I'm going to make her some. These are cute. Uh, yeah. Those are their surprise ones. Oh, are well. You, are you going to put a label on them or anything? It tells it what smell it is or nothing? Yeah, I don't remember what I did. Oh, this is cotton candy. Yeah. Cassie's is a Heinz 57. <laughs> <That's every thing. laughs> I, I put every one. And Maya's is cupcake. So, I don't know. Let her sit and let them dry. Oh, yeah. I mean, if they don't work, <clears throat> if they don't work I'll pop them out. And just remake them. Now I know not to use so much. Don't need to. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This is so cute. I'm serious. These are neat. I know. I love making like things like that to give to somebody. I've always wanted to do soap. Mm -hmm. Me too. I've always wanted to do soap. And hey, I might take up making soap. Hi. You know how they make soap look like a piece of cake or something? And yes. they put all these little berries and different things in it and then they whip it up to make it look like whipped cream. It's yep. like I'm like, that's soap. <laughs> these are actually called soap molds. This is a silicone baking mold with the snowflake cupcake. This one's a soap mold, the small pink ones. But I think they're a perfect size for an adult bath bomb. Mm-hmm. I think I'm just going to buy food coloring and I'm not going to use mica powder. I don't like what the mica powder does. And the lady that made these, she used food coloring. Yeah. So I'll Bye, put this. Anna. We'll see you after the holidays. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, Anna. Happy Thanksgiving. I think certain mica colors are stronger than the others. Mm. Or it has food coloring <laughs> pretty consistent. Yeah. All right, my friends, I'm getting going. I hope you had fun today. I had fun making soap or these bath bombs. To me, it was fun. I will post this below the video and also on Facebook group. So watch for it. When my videos finish processing, that's when you'll be able to go and um, download that. Also, y'all probably will not see me Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. Yeah, I won't be live tomorrow anyways because it's the Thanksgiving for the Americans, and I want to wish all of you a happy Thanksgiving tomorrow, and I'll see you guys on Friday, okay? All right. Bye. Bye, Bye. Bye everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.